I'm just living from paycheck to paycheck. I don't know where to cut. Our wages don't match the cost of living. I'm hoping my daughter's doing good. I'm hoping when she graduates, she'll be able to have a good job that she worked so hard for. We all have to work together to make this community work. I'm Mark Freeman. I work at Methodist Hospital in St. Louis Park. I've been there for 14 years as a shipping and receiving clerk. I'm Maxine Maxson. I work at Fairview Riverside, and I'm a nursing assistant, and I've been there 10 years. Where I work, I noticed that one of the biggest things we have a problem with is staffing levels, where there just doesn't seem to be enough people to do the job. Wherever the money can be shortened, it seems like it falls on the workers. It takes away from the patients. That gets so frustrating because you know you're not giving them all the care that they deserve. And trust me, the patients know it. And they'll tell you that I should have better treatment and you try to direct them which way to go and just do the best you can. But yeah, patients know. You want their experience to be a healthy one right. and a productive one for, for getting them back on their feet. It gets frustrating because the morale drops mm -hmm. and you don't know where to take that anger, right. where to take the morale out. You can't take it out on the patients. Right. You can't take it out on your um, co-workers. You can't take it out on your supervisor. So a lot of times the stress goes home with you. I work 60 hours a week. I'm 40 at the hospital, and then I'm about 20 at the liquor store I work at. Well, I want another job. You know, I have been saying I'm looking, but lately I'm so beat because we're doing double work. I've worked my second job now for 20 years. You miss so much from your family. You almost think that the money's never worth it. I'm hoping my daughter's doing good. I'm hoping when she graduates, she'll be able to have a good job that she worked so hard for. She's yeah. graduating out of grad school. That's the thing. It used to be when we got out of high school, if we went on to college, there would be a job waiting for yeah. us. And there was always a job waiting for us out of high school. But now, there's no jobs waiting for our kids. If we lose our job, there's not a job waiting for us that we can just go to. And it seems like if you've been at that level for so long, if they can try to let you go or cut your hours down to bring somebody in that'll make less, that's been going on too. You work all your life. To get to a point where you can maybe, like when we grew up, my grandparents were retired and they could relax and maybe do a volunteer job. Well, I'm 52 years old. I should be thinking about retirement soon. I don't have any way of doing that. I have a refrigerator magnet at home that says, I can retire now and be financially secure, providing I die next week. <laughs> and that's not so, it's funny, but in a lot of ways it's true. true. It's true, because we're living paycheck to paycheck.